Well, welcome back, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight, bloggers, blogger panelists, and those that love fine wine. We are coming to you live here on TasteLive.com. I am Nick Solgasomier with Taste Live. I am with Marcio Ramirez, winemaker of the beautiful wines you have in front of you today, Ijalo Hoffrey from Conchi Toro, wine ambassador. Hello. And we're going to be tasting through uh, a Carmen Air now. We're going to be traveling south by the glass to Chile, a little over 5,000 miles. And we're going to be enjoying the wines of Gran Reserva, Sergio Riberas. And these wines are all estate wines that are single vineyard wines located near a major river in Chile that helps sort of create its own personality and terroir. So uh, with that said, Marcio, Carmen Air uh, originally came from France, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yeah. The, 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 the Carmen Air is a, is, is, is a Bordeaux area. Okay. But the, the, the Philoxera decides. This is in a, in a, in a France, uh, uh, kill all the grapes and put uh, new grapes, or the Cabernet Malbec, Cabernet Franc, but not put the Carmenere. But yeah. the Carmenere is a, is a, is a need a, a rich or a fertile soil. Okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, una planta un poco débil. It's Carmenere. a weak plant. Yeah. It's but then it's necess yeah. it necessary. It needs, uh, uh, it needs love. It needs attention. It needs the warmth of the Chilean oh, yeah. sun. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. But the the, the the climate and the soil in Chile is a is a it's perfect. My, my perfect for the Carmenere. If I'm not mistaken, Carmenere was uh, and you actually trained in France uh, before you came to Conchitoro. No, no. In Conchitoro, go to the Mouton Rochi. Uh, it's a first growth a, a chateau wine. in France. Three week for the vintage. Okay. I look in a. To plan of Carmenere in a in a, a little mostrario um, de, de, de plantas, a little different clone or different plan. Sure. Uh, to plan to plan of the Carmenere in a, in a Bordeaux. Oh wow! Uh, but it's a in a in so a not, Chile. Not it's much a huge, left there. It's a huge quantity of the Carmenere. So in Chile, where it's coddled and it comes to life, Carmenere becomes something really special and. Um, so with that, with that French experience, you sort of bring it in where you bring in some of that experience there and you bring a little bit of that to the glass that we have in front of us here today. This, this Carmenere now, what is the name of the vineyard and where does it come from with regard to uh, uh, region? For Gran Reserva, yes. it's, it's a Peumo. The, Peumo. For, for Conchitoro, is the best location for Carmenere is a Peumo. This is a Rappel Valley. It's in a center. It's very close to the Rappel Lake. Yes. Yeah, this is the name of the the, the, the valley, but it's a, the, it's a, the the soil is very very deep, very fertile. Okay. But it is the need of the Carmenere. You know, we have a comment here. Uh, Amateur Wino was mentioning that as a fun fact, he understand that uh, for many years Carmenere in Chile was thought to be Merlot. 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 So it's, do their do their grape leaves or do they oh, look similar cluster wise? No, or? it's a very different. But okay. the, the, in in a in a vineyard is a. Well, we know it's different, but. Huh? No, no, no but, but it's know. very easy to, to difference. But in, in, a, in a past, one grape is a Merlot, one, one grape Carmener. It's very, very close, but it's very different. Today, in Chile, the Carmener say Merlot Chileno. So isn't it, it's unique though, because isn't Carmener, while it's confused with Merlot, isn't it actually related to Cabernet? Yes, or it's, actually it's, it's related by DNA, okay. it's related to Cabernet Franc. Right, yes. Yeah, that is closest in family. But we didn't know we had Carmenere in Chile until 1995. 95? That's, that's, it's that's, not very it's long recent, ago. It's recent history, you know? Wow. So we didn't know we had Carmenere and, uh, because it was destroyed in, in France because of the phylloxera, but after that it was brought to Chile. We didn't know we had it. Yeah. And my vine spot is actually talking about a uh, happy accident almost, if you think about it. Carmenere, a Bordeaux variety, thought to be extinct, gets rediscovered in Chile in the early 90s. Uh, we, actually, we actually have another comment here, fork me, spoon me. Love <laughs> the heat on the Grand Reserve of Carmenere. They love the heat. They love it. They're, we're turning up the temperature here in the mouth. It's, it's unique. You know, I think uh, this is a good time to talk. We'll dive in a little bit about where it's from and how we make it, but while we were transitioning a minute ago, we kind of stumbled on something that was kind of unique. Mm -hmm. We sent out recipe pairings to all of you, and the first one, I believe, was a salmon tartare with a curry and like a pica lemon. We actually got to taste this with the Carmenere. And it tasted really good. And it tastes amazing. It's yeah. like breaking the rules. You know, the thing to understand yeah. is it's not about fish and white and all of the stuff you normally hear. The sauces, the spices, it makes a whole nother, uh, a whole nother world, you know, and we have to thank we have to thank Jason Mancibo and $20, $20 Wine for actually making this tonight, coming here and preparing some of this dish. It's absolutely amazing. We can't wait to get our hands on the rest of it. Uh -huh. um, but back to the, uh, excuse me, back to the Carmenera a little bit though. Being it's Paomo Vineyard, I know 
Conchi Toro actually has some other wines that are really well known from this Peomo Vineyard. Actually, not that we need to dive into critical acclaim here, but I think the most well-known or the highest rated Carmenere in, in all of Chile. Uh, the highest rated Carmenere comes from that area. It's, it's, about, it's called Peumo, that area. Peumo. And the wine is called uh, Carmin de Peumo. Carmin de Peumo. And in, for Carmenere, it's like in real estate, location, location, it's very important. Yeah. What, is, what is the if, U.S. If, retail price on that bottle? On the Carmin de Peumo? Yeah. 125 $125. Dollars. Yeah. So, so, but this wine here, I think uh, at some point, someone was asking us this, I think we're around that uh, somewhere around that uh, 15, 14 99 yeah. to 16 99 Depending where you are in the United States, so these, it's 14 99 16 99 These are a little younger vines, though, from that yes. same vineyard, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Young is uh, 10 or 15 years. 10 or 15 year. years. Yeah. Winebride SF was saying that the Carmenere is basically, here's what we have, gentlemen. In our glass, we have blueberry pie filling with white pepper yeah. on top. Yeah. It's a little touch of the white pepper. I think it's a more um, a plum. Plum, um, um, plum, yeah. dark plums, yeah. red plums, yeah. Yeah. a little spice. chocolate, spice. Mm. Yes, I think yeah. that's one of the things that I find unique about Carmenere. Is everybody talks about Cab Merlot, Malbec. Carmenere is a secret weapon wine. You can take it to a party, you can take it to a dinner party, yeah. you can take it to a pairing because, as we saw earlier, fish, meat, pork, game. It's all over it's, the place. It's very versatile. But the, the very more important is the, the color. But the it, color it, in a, in a, in color? a, it's a very deep. Very ink. All the, the Carmenere is a very deep color. Let us know what you think of the color. Obviously, he was saying, do you think, now, the Car Carmenere tends to have a bit of a deeper color than Malbec, even? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It was blended in, in France. It, it wasn't used as a straight uh, grape in France because it was never ripe enough, and they use it only for blending purposes. A little cooler in France. Yeah. Exactly. Cold color for the wine. But in essentially in, in Cachapoal in the in the Peumo Vineyard, we obviously we turn the heat up. I think as someone oh, yeah. mentioned earlier, and it, and it shows in the glass. Yeah, yeah. correct. Uh, Grand Reserva actually we're, we just poised out there. You know, with the threat of phylloxera largely non-existent in Chile for the most part, because you guys are protected. I think earlier we never got phylloxera. Yeah. And so you have yeah. some of the oldest, healthiest vines in all of Chile yeah. as a whole, and even the yeah. younger vines. Because of the Pacific and the Andes, the yeah. Antarctic and the Yeah, Antarctic yeah. And, and essentially the desert, you're protected. Yeah. You you're have to think of Chile as like, like an island, yeah. isolated. Okay. The desert, the glaciers in the south, the Andes, the Pacific Ocean, so it looks like I never made it to Chile. Yeah. Are, are the vines planted on original rootstock, the, the Carmenere vines? It's, that we have Carmen, it's, a, it's a Franco, it's a only Carmenere. I, I think it's, it's a it's, it's a original rootstock from yeah. yeah. So no, I, it's I, not rootstock. I like it's, not rootstock. it's original. I like the analogy. If, if, yeah. if any of the bloggers, if you guys have ever had the thing where if I if I whispered something to Marcio and then he whispered something to Italo and then we whispered something, you lose you lose the connection. I almost think of that with the grafting. Yeah. It's almost like we're we're working with someone else's plumbing to feed the house, and yeah. and these don't have that case. That's yeah. what really makes this wine a bit unique. Ya, yeah. es especial, ¿vale? nosotros sentimos que cuando no hay separación, un pie y otro, el flujo es directo, entonces yeah. la planta es mucho más... Yeah, when there's, when there's no grafting, Marcio is saying in, in Spanish that yeah. uh, there's Sorry. no missing uh, in the connection, there's no, when you have the whole plan, there's no, nothing missing you're, there. You are plugged in, By the minute you graft, connection. you're missing something. Yeah. And that's, uh, obviously it's pretty apparent in the wines that we have here. Um, so, as we taste, could you tell me what do you think some some flavor profiles and aromas? What do you notice actually in the wine? It's a, a little green uh, mm -hmm. black pepper, a, a, a plum, plum, yeah. a little touch of vanilla, and coffee. I love the spice. I almost wine. don't want to move on to the yeah. next wine. Yeah, and most red wines from Chile they do have that earthiness. That mm -hmm. uh, that's like the fingerprint of Chile. Red yeah. wines from Chile, they do have that characteristic, yeah. and Malbec had it, Cabernet has it, Cabernet Sauvignon, so. Okay, well, I know we're getting a bit pushed for time, so I want to thank everybody for joining us for the Carmenere. Don't pour it out, put it on the side, yeah. come back and visit it. Um, we're going to be tasting through some more wines here, and thank you for taking that trip south with us to Chile, to Chile, and tasting the wines of Gran Reserva, Serio Riveras, with winemaker Marcio Ramirez and wine ambassador Italo Hoffrey here on Taste Live. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Salute. 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 Enjoy.